How's it going everybody? So, we're going to be in the kitchen today. I'm going to teach you guys how to save, remove, remove and save actually, beer bottle labels. Now why would you want to do this? Well, it's so you can make something like this. This is a beer journal. And basically, it's the manliest type of arts and crafts you can do. <laughs> basically, I like to save the label of every beer I've tried. It's just kind of interesting because, you know, with craft beer, a portion of the the whole lifestyle of it and the fun is looking at the label art because craft beer has got such unique and interesting label art. And I really enjoy saving the labels. And it helps you go back and remember beers that you liked or beers that you think you want to stay away from. But I save them all. As you can see, I've got a nice little collection. And it's kind of cool because it helps with... Uh, just memories and things like I know these are beers that I drank while I was in Chicago just things like that so anyway how do you get these types of labels off of beers well I'm about to show you so here's what you'll need you'll need beer bottles that you want to take the labels off of a sink with hot water in it and then the secret weapon that you won't see very much else on the internet this is something that I kind of found out on my own OxyClean powder. This really makes it easy. So, to begin, turn on your hot water and start filling the sink up. Alright, next, take your bottles and fill them up with the hot water and then submerge them. Alright, and now for the secret weapon, take about a scoop or so of your Oxy OxyClean and just start kind of sprinkling it around. All around in the water. And don't worry, this stuff will not harm your sink. It is perfectly safe. Just give the sink a good rinse when you're done and it won't hurt a thing. I've been doing it for years and I haven't died yet. <laughs> Anyway, once you've got it all in there, you can run the water a little bit more just to kind of agitate it and mix it up. And past that, you're set. Now you're going to want to let this sit for about an hour or two, pretty much once the water is like completely lukewarm. That's when you'll be ready. And so uh, we'll come back in an hour or two. Now, these have been sitting here for about two hours or so. The water is just barely lukewarm now. And so, all you'd have to do is take them out, pour out your water, and from different breweries, they're of course all going to use different types of adhesive, so some will be more difficult than others. This would be an easy example though. And you can see most of the time, you just be gentle, take your time, and they usually come right off with no tears. Then you can take these, and I like to lay them face down on some wax paper, so let them dry. The reason I do this is A, I lay them on wax paper so they can be peeled up and won't stick to things like wood and rip, and I put them face down because the adhesive does normally become sticky again to prevent them once again from ripping and once they dry you can put them in your album or trim them with some scissors first if they have excess UPCs and stuff on the sides but for the most part yeah that is how I do it anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope it was helpful for you and tune in for my next video as always